If you're struggling with food cravings, you know that despite your best intentions, willpower isn't enough. And unfortunately, neither is drinking more water. In this video, I'm going to bypass the basic recommendations to teach you how to better control your food cravings by sharing with you the exact strategy that I use with myself, my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, and community to get a better grip on cravings and ultimately stop the resulting self-sabotaging behavior. My name is Paul Salter and I'm a registered dietitian who has worked with more than 1,400 men and women and helped them to collectively lose tens of thousands of pounds of body fat by reframing their thoughts and reshaping their behaviors. Let me know if this situation sounds eerily familiar. It's 4.15 p.m. on a Tuesday and, like clockwork, your focus comes to a screeching halt and your mind is immediately ambushed by intense thoughts related to your favorite food. It's almost as if the chips and the cookies in the pantry begin calling your name. And in a blink of an eye, despite fading in and out of awareness, you end up devouring that box of cookies or that bag of chips and are left feeling physically uncomfortable and overwhelmed with feelings of guilt, anxiety, and frustration. If you're anything like me, you've been there one too many times. And if you can relate, make sure you hit the like button below because I'm going to teach you how to completely transform this situation into one of cool, calm confidence. For an all too familiar situation like this to become a distant memory and instead a situation in which you smile, shake it off and go back to enjoying life, we need to dive deeper into understanding why that craving exists in the first place. Once you have this why, you'll be able to better select the strategy that is perfect for you to overcome it. Remember, awareness is the essential first step to empowering you to be able to take positive, impactful change. And here's the exact process, and trust me, it's very simple, and I'll make it as easy as possible for you, that I use with myself, my coaching clients, and my community to overcome their cravings. For the next five days, I want you to write down on a piece of paper in your phone the answers to the following questions every single time you feel a craving come on. Number one, what time does this happen? What is the location? Where are you? What emotion is currently present? And what's the last thing that you did? Do this for five days in a row, absolutely free of judgment, simply as if you're an observer to the situation. To make this super simple, have a notepad or a sticky note handy, or might I suggest starting a new note in the note app in your smartphone. Something that is easy and provides little friction or resistance will really help make this exercise more doable for you. And once you begin, what patterns do you notice to emerge? Are you consistently stressed right before indulging in that craving? Are you always in the kitchen? Is it always 4.15 p.m.? Or did you just finish one of those stressful Zoom meetings? Comment below this video with one of the common times you're noticing a craving occur. Once you become aware of the pattern, you can then better pinpoint the root cause of this craving. Then you can substitute a more empowering solution to help you manage that craving and better yet, stay on track with your nutrition plan. Here's a common example I think you'll be able to relate to. In fact, one of my one-on-one -on -one clients, Jenna, noticed that she felt an overwhelming sense of cravings every single time she finished with an afternoon Zoom meeting. No matter if she took the call outside, inside, or at a different time of the afternoon, you know, 12 p.m. versus 4 p.m., she found this feeling of overwhelm to be the trigger for her cravings. And then through trial and error, utilizing the exact blueprint I just shared with you, she began trying different 
replacement coping mechanisms. And what we found worked best for her wasn't listening to her favorite song, though we thought that would do the trick, was completing a two minute body weight workout, big squats, jumping jacks, and lunges, which ultimately allowed her to change her physiological state therefore having a positive impact on her psychological state. She felt refreshed and most importantly, back to having a sense of control and was able to withstand and move away from that craving and go on with the rest of her day. Pretty exciting and very powerful for Jenna. So what does that mean for you? Well, you need to try a new strategy to replace eating to help you overcome the emotion that is present every time a craving persists. And what you need to do next is stick to one specific new solution and try that solution for five days in a row. And each time you try this new solution, write down how you feel immediately after implementing it and Again, 60 minutes later, write down how you feel. Has it actually changed your emotion? Yes or no? And the reason we're gonna do this for five days in a row is to see if we can, again, identify another pattern that exists after you have consistently implemented that new strategy. And what might that strategy look like? Sure, it could be a body weight workout like Jenna. It could be taking a quick walk, practicing some deep breathing or meditation, listening to your favorite song, or maybe better, listening to your favorite song and having a little dance party in between those Zoom meetings. Regardless, choose a strategy that speaks to you and just simply try it judgment-free for five days and see what you learn. The last thing I wanna leave you with is this. If you implement this new strategy and you still end up succumbing to that craving, hey, that's completely okay. This is not an overnight fix, so do make sure you practice grace with yourself. I have found this personally a lot easier to do when I talk to myself as if I am talking to my friend or someone as cool and genuine as you. Because ultimately, we tend to be a lot nicer when talking to others than we are when talking to ourselves. So something I may say to myself would sound like this, Paul, it's great you were so mindful of your actions and intentions today. This is absolutely a positive step in the right direction. Don't get frustrated. We'll try again tomorrow or the next time this craving presents itself. For more actionable tips like this that you can apply to troubleshoot certain problem areas in your life that are preventing you from achieving that significant, sustainable weight loss you desire, click the link on the video or right below this video to download my free gift and book to you, 11 tips to keep the weight off for good. And if you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button, share it with a friend, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to my channel so you are notified when I release a brand new video every single Tuesday. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, screw the scale.